when it's time to replace your equipment's rubber tracks, you may want to do it yourself. Let's look at how to remove and install rubber tracks on your Cat Mini hydraulic excavator. Before you get started though, check your operation and maintenance manual for proper safety procedures and always wear appropriate personal protective equipment. Park your equipment on firm, level ground and make sure the engine is off. The track you're removing needs to be off the ground, so use the implement or a suitable lifting device to lift the machine and use suitable cribbing to support the machine for stability and safety. Place a jack to support the weight of the track. Turn the grease fitting counterclockwise to release track tension and use a pry bar to move the track from the roller frame onto the jack. Use the jack and pry bar to put the new track into place. Make sure the links are engaged with the drive sprocket teeth. Turn the fitting clockwise so that it's ready to accept grease again. Now you can pump in grease to tighten the track. Measuring for the right tension varies based on your specific undercarriage and track carrier roller location. If your undercarriage does not have a track carrier roller in the upper center, position the track joint mark under the center track roller. Make sure it's positioned on the lower portion of the undercarriage. Measure the sag from the bottom of the center roller to the surface on top of the track. For models that have a track carrier roller on the upper portion of the undercarriage, position the cat symbol on the track so it is above the track carrier roller. Measure the sag from between the track and the wear surface of the track roller. Check your OMM to find the appropriate sag for your equipment and add or release grease as needed. For more information and support, contact your cat dealer and always check your operation and maintenance manual for specific instruction and safety procedures.